What is going on everybody, it's your boy Nothing Skills, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new ability trees for Sharpshooter, Survivalist, and Demolitionist. Now Gunner, I will be doing a full review on it since it's a whole new one, so we'll save that one. But let's get into Sharpshooter, and then we'll do Survivalist and Demolitionist. So for Sharpshooter, let's take a look at the ability tree. So the first perk we're going to look at is a digital scope. That didn't change, so that's plus 45 headshot damage when you put this scope on your weapon. So still a really good scope to use if you're good at using that scope, right? But what really changes here is, if you guys haven't watched my last video, now we can add 15% weapon damage to every weapon in the game on Sharpshooter. So we have the rifle, you can go up to 15%. You have the AR, you have the LMG, you have the sniper rifle. The sniper rifle is the new one that now you can add 15% weapon damage. So that is a new perk on this tree but remember you can only pick three of these right so you can pick all of these weapons also the shotgun i didn't mention that smg pistol so you can pick up the three weapons once you pick those three weapons it's going to lock out all the other weapons and you're going to see that right now so the real big change to this is now we can choose more than just rifle damage on sharpshooter now we can choose all of them but they also added finally marksman rifle now another big change they did to all of the specializations is now you can fully upgrade the pistol you get. Because remember, the pistol that you used to get with your specialization was pretty much a waste, right? Nobody wanted it because you couldn't get it to World Tier 5. Now you can get those weapons to World Tier 5. So that means whatever talents they have on those weapons, you can use them at World Tier 5. You just have to level it up. So that is something new that they added to the game, which I like. I think that's a smart move like I didn't even use any of my specialization weapons so I can't wait to use the d50 and you'll see in just a second so besides that so you get the three round burst you can put this to world tier five now let's get into the next one so the way you get ammo now has changed so killing enemies with headshots adds two to the ammo bar except for signature weapons so ammo bar what does that mean I'll show you in just a second because the next one is going to be for your team killing enemies with headshots adds one to your group's ammo bar except for signature weapons so what is the ammo bar well let's take a look when I get a kill and I'll zoom in so you can see it so if you look right next to where it says 20 out of 274 bullets there's this bar there you can barely see it but now once I get a kill you can actually see that it started adding ammo to that now once you fill this up with headshots that's when it will start to drop signature ammo for you and your team so that is the new change that is coming to all the specializations I really like this change because now you know when you will get signature ammo and then you also get a more clarification of how you get that signature ammo for you and your teammates so let's take a look at the rest of the perks so this one you're pretty familiar with the signature weapon damage it goes to tier 1 all the way to tier 5 as you level this up it will do tier 5 damage so this one is something that we really don't need to dive into too much right so the next thing is going to be the flashbang grenade. The flashbang grenade applies blind to all targets with a large area effect. You know that one. Now this is the big change on here. 5% increased headshot damage with rifles and marksman rifles allows for precision kills. So this only works now with rifles and marksman rifles. So they get the 25% headshot damage. Now ARs, LMGs, shotguns, SMGs, and pistols do not get that extra 25% headshot damage only rifles and marksman rifles so it's kind of a little buff to rifles and marksman rifles now breath control stays the same that works for everything 30 percent increased weapon stability reduced recoil and faster reacquisition of targets now i've never liked the perk for the armor kits on the sharpshooter armor kits now repair 50 percent less when used but they clear status effects don't like that at all now for the drone perks they didn't change at all so if you want to take a look at this you can just look at your current one not in the pts you also get the uniform just like every specialization, they have their own uniform. And then we get into the sharpshooter tactical link. All group members that are closer to the enemies get that 10% extra headshot damage. And then you have round after round after 20 seconds in cover, you start generating ammo. Then you have vital protection, which is the same on all of them that reduce critical hit chance. And then the last one, my home is my castle, extra armor gained while in cover. So let's take a look at the other ones though. Let's see what else has changed with um, Survivalist and Demolitionist. So if we dive into Survivalist, let's see what Survivalist has to offer now. It still gives you the one perk that we all know, um, the magazine. So you get that 556 
unique magazine so if you're looking for that that will automatically be unlocked once you start this specialization it's the custom magazine for the 556 assault rifle now just like sharpshooter we have all the damages for ar lmg shotgun smg pistol marksman rifle and rifle so the thing that they also changed on this one was how you get those specialization ammo killing enemies under status effects adds five to the ammo bar remember you cannot use your signature weapon to get these now this also changed for group members and we'll look at that one killing enemies under status effects adds three to your group members ammo bar except for signature weapons so those are the two changes right there Nothing really changed here. You can get 40% increased signature weapon damage, just like on all the specializations. And then we get the incendiary grenade. This is still the same. Triage specialist is still the same. 15% increased outgoing healing. We get the 15% increased protection from elites. That's still the same. The armor kits now repair over five seconds instead of instantly, but also apply to group members within 10 meters. Still the same. The seeker mines didn't change at all. We have the uniform right here, still the same. Now this did change right here. Now you can actually level up your D50. So I'm excited to use this. I wanna see what a world tier five D50 would be like. So I'll probably play with this later on and then see how I like it. And I'll give you guys some feedback, most likely in the comments. Now also the final four perks, they are the same, nothing really changed there. So that is just something to keep in mind. Everything was pretty much the same, except how you get specialization ammo, how you get the D50, the extra 15% you get to, to each damage. Like this one, survival tactical link, group members get 10% bonus damage to targets out of cover, vital protection, that 20%, just like all of them. Scrap and buy, gain five ammo per second for your current weapon while performing cover to cover movements, and then crunch time while on cover, gain 10% skill cooldown reduction. So the only big changes here, like I said, are the weapons, um, the D50, and then of course, how you acquire that specialization ammo. But everything else is pretty much the same. So let's dive into Demolitionist. So Demolitionist is the final one we're gonna cover in this video. So Demolitionist, just like the rest, 357 Magnum upgraded. So now you can upgrade it to World Tier 5. So just like I told you with Sharpshooter and Survivalist, now the weapons are the same, you get the extra damage. How you acquire the specialization ammo, killing enemies with explosions, adds four to your ammo bar, except for signature weapon. So that means that you have to use a grenade, right? You can't use your grenade launcher to get that. The same goes with group signature ammo supply, killing multiple enemies with explosions, adds two to your group's ammo bar. So the ammo bar is gonna be something for you guys to keep your eye out for as you guys run the raid, run those heroic and challenging missions, and you're looking for that specialization ammo. Now the weapons, you can get 15% damage on all the weapons, just like the previous two specializations. You can level up your signature weapon just like before, nothing changed there. You get the fragmentation grenade that deals and causes targets to bleed. You get that 5% increased explosive damage. Now this does go up as you level it up. You also get that increased burn resistance by 20%. And then you get the armor kits, repair 70% damage and boost weapon handling by 100% for 15 seconds. The turrets are the same. They didn't really change here. The uniform, the same. Demolition tactical link group members gain 5% damage to targets out of cover. You have vital protection, the 20%. You have brace for impact, which ignores explosions can occur once every 60 seconds. And then crisis response, one of my favorite talents when armor is depleted you refill your main weapon ammo. I love that, I love that. And that's why I do like running Demolitionist because of this talent right here. Now out of those three alone, not talking about Gunner right now, I don't know which one's the best, right? Because they all get the 15% extra weapon damage. So that means if I wanna run an AR, which I've been running a lot, I can run it with all three. Um, I do like Crisis Response from the Demolitionist class. I do like the 30% reduced recoil from the Sharpshooter class but I don't really know which one is better. Like, I, I really don't know which one I need to have. Like, I do love survivalists. And when you do play PVE, you get that 15% protection from elites, but also you get that 15% um, outgoing healing. I love the DE, so I don't know. Like, 
I am kind of leaning towards sharpshooter because I do want to run a sniper rifle and then I can still take advantage of that 25% headshot damage as my secondary. So say if I run the AR and then I run a sniper rifle, I can still get 25% extra headshot damage on my sniper rifle. So to me, sharpshooter is kind of where I'm leaning, but I don't know. Gunner still is a whole different story and we'll get into that. It's going to have its own video because I'm going to show you some gameplay with the specialization and that will be coming out on my main channel. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Hit the thumbs up if you found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys again for all the support. Until the next video, nothing but skills out.